Hey, what's up guys? Snoo Manatari here, and yes, today's video is going to be an honest retrospective of Chapter 5 Season 2, as we're less than one week away from Season 3. I figured I would want to make a video talking about my final thoughts and opinions about this season with you all. As you all know, at the very beginning of this season, I, like, it really didn't get along with me. More or less, this entire season in general really didn't get along with me. Even though I was very excited at the very start of the season with it being Greek-themed, I was very hopeful for this season to be one of my favorite seasons of all time. Unfortunately, Chapter 5 Season 2, in my opinion, was a letdown. Now, this season wasn't bad by any means, but I will say this here, I still very much enjoyed this season. However, some of the decisions that Epic made during this season, in my opinion, killed it for a lot of people, including myself. But at the start of this video, I did want to talk about some of my favorite things from this season. So let's start off with the first thing that they did really well, and that was the Battle Pass and Item Shop Cosmetics. Now, I have to say in terms of theming, the Chapter 5 Season 2 Battle Pass was amazing. All the new Greek skins that we got within this Battle Pass were really awesome, from Artemis to Medusa to Cerberus and even Hades. The battle pass for this season was really good in terms of theming. I will say I did have a few issues with this battle pass, like Poseidon as big being Ripley was funny but felt a bit off for the actual character of Poseidon. Zeus's design was kind of weird for me, but I still liked the skin. And then there was Korra, the Avatar collaboration skin that was the bonus skin for this season. Now I will say that she was probably the best Avatar skin that we did get from that collaboration, and I do think that she was a pretty good skin. However, she felt pretty off being part of this pass. I don't think it was a bad idea for her to be in the pass, but it didn't really make a lot of sense in my opinion, considering that Ares was literally right there. Instead, they put Ares into the Fortnite crew and not a battle pass skin, which would have been a lot better, you know, instead of just a random avatar collab skin. I'm not hating on the core skin here, by the way. I just think that her being a part of this Greek themed battle pass made absolutely no sense to me. Now for the item shop cosmetics. In terms of quality, they cooked with this season, especially with some of the original skins. Some of my personal favorite original skins that we did get from the item shop include Apollo, Ares from the Fortnite crew. Yeah, it's a Fortnite crew skin, but still I'm gonna count here. The Titan skin, Perseus, and Charon. There's a lot more, but I think what I wanted to mention in terms of like the Greek ones, because obviously I love Greek mythology and those skins were done justice in Fortnite. They were amazing. And not to mention, we also got some pretty good collaboration skins too, like Chewbacca from Star Wars, a new My Hero Academia collaboration with some of the villains, a new Guardian to the galaxy collab which i'll come back to this later in the video billy eilish being added into fortnite and a new nba collab which honestly i think was really underrated even at that we had some pretty decent icon emotes this time around and now i might actually make a video talking about this because ever since the beginning of 2024 it seems like epic has been pushing out way too many icon emotes and a lot of the times almost all at once let me know down below in the comment section or by dropping a like on the video if you're interested in me talking about this for you all for a video anyways let me move on to my next positive here and that was the start of season two the start of chapter five season two was honestly amazing besides the horrible launch for the season with the game being down for like basically a whole day the start of season two was really good we had some awesome map changes with two new biomes i will say the locations weren't my personal favorite but i will say they were done very well especially with grim gate probably being like the best location for the season not to mention we had new items added into the loot pool during the first few weeks of the season which were actually pretty good and overall very fun additions from the new warhammer assault rifle being a very solid weapon and even another very solid weapon being like the harbinger smg and the gatekeeper shotgun probably the best gun from this season the new br guns that they added were pretty good overall and then there were the greek items and my goodness these were great the lightning bolt of zeus was very broken at the very start of the season with it damaging players through builds but it was eventually fixed the wings of icarus were an amazing form of mobility even though you were basically a massive target while using it and the chain of hades went from an okay item to probably my personal favorite item and just weapon in general from this season it's just so damn fun to use and that does i didn't even get a chance to mention like the banana of the gods which was an amazing consumable and the medallions which were very fun changed like they changed them pretty well even though i know a lot of people didn't go for them they were pretty good overall and then there was the midas event this whole update surrounding midas in my personal opinion was the best update from the season hands down it had the return of floor's lava which was so freaking fun and the drum gun coming back being usable at the workbench but also there was also like free rewards you could have gotten from this event and the storyline coming back with Midas was great to see now with all that said chapter 5 season 2 had an amazing start it had quite a bit of content for BR and it was super refreshing and really fun however after that things would take a 180 turn so let me talk about what went wrong in chapter 5 season 2 
Now, I gotta start off with the weapons here because besides the drum gun returning to the game, the other unvaults that we got during the season were just very underwhelming with them being the tactical assault rifle and the hand cannon. Those two weapons I literally saw no one using because they were just really bad, especially the hand cannon because of that stupid damn bullet drop that all ranged weapons have now. Now, I understand that it's a balancing thing, but they just make simple eliminations feel either good or most of the time bad. Now, thank goodness I've actually gotten used to them, like with this whole bullet drop thing, but I do think they should reconsider bringing back what made the weapons work in the first place, and that is to remove this stupid bullet drop on every weapon besides snipers and like the DMRs. Speaking of that, Epic kept in the Reaper sniper rifle and the Frenzy Auto in the season, and all I gotta ask is, why? Why keep these two weapons? Like, these two weapons ruin this loophole, and I hope they get vaulted next season. Now, let's talk about the up updates next because after the minus event the br updates were either very odd or just very underwhelming like the two huge collaboration updates that we got this season first we had the avatar update which was a good update with some cool looking skins and some very fun mythics that spiced up the game for a few weeks however there was one catch with this update epic decided to randomly vault the greek items when this collaboration went live why we don't know why they did this because this literally made absolutely no sense like why get rid of what your season was about just to make room for a collaboration like they could have just have coexisted with each other and no one would have had a problem with that like i don't see the problem with that at all like i think that was just a really dumb decision that they even went forward with that and then there was the star wars event this year and my goodness the star wars event was awful. We went from Find the Force, which had Force abilities and nine skins, to having one lightsaber on the map, a Wookiee blaster, and a bunch of nothing, realistically. The only mode that benefited from this whole collaboration was LEGO, which I actually will say was really fun. Other than that, this was probably one of the worst Star Wars events ever, and it was just such an absolute letdown. Now we get to some of the worst things that happened about this season, and that is the pointless changes. I'm not going to repeat myself here because I previously talked about them here on the channel, but first was the rarity removal. This change was absolutely pointless and awful because they basically not only doubled down on this decision, but they actually caused the locker UI and the item shops to change for the worse, especially the locker ui because it was already bad enough at the beginning of chapter 5 but when they implemented this change they actually made it alphabetical for the cosmetics that don't have rarities anymore and they also made it into the recent tabs like the recent tabs is absolutely horrible now i generally don't know how to say it so it's like are you fucking kidding me why keep changing stuff that doesn't need to be fucking changed I'm sorry for saying that there, but oh god, it gets worse because the item shops this season, good lord, ever since this change was added, people have been theorizing that they've been making things more expensive in the item shop, and honestly, I think this could actually be true. Like the Avatar skins, for example, being 2,000 V-Bucks each, the My Hero Academia skins being in the same boat as the Avatar skins, and like a lot of emotes were just so overpriced, like the Wishin' emote and Round and Round being 500 V-Bucks each and them censoring emotes too was also just another very pointless change now it wasn't the worst thing they've added into the game recently and honestly i think this change is a good one however banning laugh it up and take the l was honestly really embarrassing because honestly i'm sorry i'm gonna say this here but if you are getting offended by somebody or get offended by someone who did either laugh it up or take the l on you you need to get a life now while i am for this change for certain emotes this update overall was just completely pointless because not only can people find new new ways to do these things to people, but there are also way bigger problems than censoring emotes like the locker UI for example, like there are much bigger th problems in the game than censoring emotes. But overall, Chapter 5 Season 2, in my opinion, was a very enjoyable season in terms of gameplay, but I actually will say it not only fell off at the very end, but in my opinion, I was just very disappointed with the season. Hopefully, Chapter 5 Season 3 is a step up from the season because the season has a lot riding on its shoulders right now, and I really hope this season does deliver for everybody, and I really hope we all do enjoy this season. But ladies and gentlemen, that is it for today's video. I really hope you all enjoyed it. If you did happen to enjoy this video, consider subscribing to the channel. Don't forget to check out my Twitter, AKMX account socials are on screen thank you all so much for watching i love every single one of you remember everyone it's always good to take chances